What is up everyone? This is DragonJuice27 and this is episode 2 for today. Actually episode 10 if you count all of them together, but in one day, two episodes, you guys deserve it because last time I checked, under 5 hours we got 20 likes on our video and that's good enough for me. So let's check out the nature of our Meditite over here. Turns out it's a hardy nature which isn't good or bad, it doesn't raise any stat at all. Like it doesn't raise anything or decrease anything. So that's not too bad. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go ahead and put Psych out first here and no actually we're gonna have to train Waffles because we are going to evolve Waffles in this episode and do a lot more fun shit. And as you can see it is the night time and there are a couple of reasons why it's the night time. First of all in real life it is the night time and second of all we do have a better chance of catching a Nuzlocke Pokemon that we want in the cave over there. So let's do that, but first we want to run into a quick hiker over here. Let's see what he's up to. See how Mount Coronet towers above us. I want it to be big like that one day. So that is where we will catch our next Nuzlocke Pokemon. I stopped keeping track of which number that will be, but yeah. So here we go. If you guys haven't seen the previous episode, go check it out because this will be my featured video now. But I did upload another episode today, so you guys, if you were, if you're like, what the fuck, how'd you jump here? Then that will probably help you understand. So just check that episode out right now. There will be a link in the upper left-hand corner, as always. And wow, there's like a little uh, tuft of graph grass over here, like um, a little boy's pubes. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, I think that that looks kind of misplaced. Anyway. I have a feeling there's a hidden item here. No. Okay, let's go in the cave and catch our next Nuzlocke Pokemon. But before we do so, let me read out the percentages. 10% chance of catching a Cleffa. 20% chance of catching a Bronzor. 30% for a Geodude. 10% for a Meditite. 10% for a Machop. 10% for a Chingling. 5% for a Nosepass. And about 15% for a Zubat. I don't know. Uh, something around those levels. What I really want is either a nose pass or a Machop or a Chingling or a Bronzor or a Cleffa. Because I don't want a Geodude or a Meditite because we already have those. So let's hope that we can do something good. Alright. Wow, awesome. Energy powder, but I will not be giving that to my Badu because that lowers happiness, just by the way. Alright, so let's do this. We can't go any further in this cave. But it's time to catch our Pokemon. Okay, guys. Wish me luck. Come on, baby. Something good. Give me something good. I deserve something good. I'm releasing two episodes a day. Come on. Something good. Come on. Why why you why don't you come? What the fuck? Why why isn't it coming? Come on, baby. Come on, yes. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna Oh yes, thank God. A bronzer. I really wanted one of these if you guys watched the previous episode that's what I was wishing for in the other area so I'm gonna quickly use a water pulse here and probably that won't take him down so yeah we're pretty safe even a critical hit wouldn't be able to take him down so there we go awesome I don't give a shit if I'm confused because you're going in the pokeball baby and I need to name him something now I need to think of like a really cool name hopefully we can think of something cool and after this, we will go and take on Gardenia. So this will be a hell of an episode, and you guys deserved it completely. So what can I name my Bronzer? I think we should name something cool. Okay, Bronze Pokemon, Steel Psychic. There are researchers who believe this Pokemon reflected like a mirror in the distant past. Okay, I'm going to name him something. Oh god, I have no idea. Um... What should I name him? I I'm just gonna name him the first thing that came into my mind. This really sucks, but hopefully the awesome episode today will make up for it. Hard... Ass? Wait. Hard ass? That's what I'm gonna name him. Oh my god, this sucks! Anyway, who really gives a shit about the name? He is a hard ass. I mean Bronzor. Hard ass. Perfect. So now let's go and pick up Bronzor and we will have to deposit a Pokemon. I'm not sure which one we have to, we will deposit yet, but we will have to deposit something because we can't, we don't have room for anything. You just keep uh, getting honeys, don't you? You cute little thing. Okay, so let's put you first and evolve you. Not right now, maybe, maybe, no, no, not right now. We have to go take on the gym and what the fuck is this? Oh my god. 
Zubat! Doesn't that sound like a ninja bursting from cover? Oh yes it does, little boy. I, I think he would like suffocate down there if I didn't like happen to notice him. Anyway, bug bite. Oh fuck, why'd I do that? Gust. We need to do gust, baby. No, don't do this shit to me. I'm gonna have to switch out into... Come on, George. You got this. Alright, so now we're gonna quickly do an ember. Hopefully it won't kill. Oh, okay, it does kill. Anyway, who gives a shit? Okay, yeah, these embers are gonna be a pain in the ass for combi, so let's just take them down. There we go, awesome. And only five minutes in, I wanna do a lot in this episode, so you guys might notice that I'm, like, acting very rushed, but... There must be a hidden item over there. I am predicting it. Okay, a bronzer. So we're having a lot of luck with them now. Why, why the fuck did I do that? Shit, okay, I'm, I'm gonna run because our moves are not very effective on bronzer, so there's no point. Okay. And something interesting for you guys to think about. When Meditite evolves into Medicam, or Medicham, I don't know how you pronounce that, at level 37, he has a crazy ability that doubles his base attack power all the time. So that's, it's that, that's so amazing. That is like the best ability in the Pokemon game. Like double base, like first of all I checked out Medicham's base stats and I'm like, okay, these really suck. I don't think I'll be able to train Meditite even though I really was into training him. Like I was really excited. I was like, yes, Meditite, he's so cool. But then I was like, wait, his stats suck. But then the, the ability called Pure Power doubles base attack, which is just completely amazing. So here we go. And I will move Pokemon and I'm gonna deposit my who should oh my god who can who can we deposit? I think for now we can deposit bubbles. But wait, we don't really need to do any we won't do any training with him right now. But I just wanna check out his stuff, so I'm gonna put him here. And we'll just keep bronzer in our party for this episode, but we'll have to withdraw Padoof later. Oh my god, I love my Pokemon so much. Let's just check out his nature real quick. Relax nature. I'm not sure what that does, but as you can see, defense and special defense outrageously high and pretty good moves. Like, seriously, this Pokemon is worth training. Hard ass, you are worth it. So, we will get Bidoof later on in this episode if we defeat Gardenia in time, and I think we will. We have a high percent chance of taking down Gardenia pretty damn easily. So, let's do this shit now. So, where is she? She will be over here. So let's go talk to you. I'm gonna put George first because George needs special attack, speed, and whatever the fuck these grass Pokemon will give me. Hi, I'm Gardenia. I'm this town's gym leader. My last challenger was this awfully speedy young guy. Actually, his name was Delish. He told me about you. He said that another challenger is on the way, so that made me antsy. Yeah, I make girls antsy. Okay, so let's do this. Let's dance, buddy. Okay, so now she's gonna go and hide behind all of her fucking pussy-ass trainers. Wait, did I see a Pokeball over there? Yes, how the fuck do we get that? I think we have to um, defeat this gym leader because then we get HM01 cut, or we get to use it, that is. So let's talk to our all-time number one fan. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Actually, that's what I said to some boy who zipped in here too. The gym leader Gardini is a user of grass-type Pokemon. It should be obvious, but grass type Pokemon really hate fire. They're also at a huge disadvantage against the flying type too. Oh wait a second, I should tell you about the gym itself first. You can't challenge the gym leader until you beat all of the gym's trainers. It's a bit challenging. No, I'm happy for the grind. Like, I love to grind. Wait, I think I could avoid her. Wait. But apparently I have to... Oh, because you can't go past these waterfalls until you take on the trainers. So let's do this now. Hey. Welcome, without further ado, let's go. Okay, so you have to talk to them, so that's kind of weird. So, like, you can walk straight by them and they won't care, but you have to talk to them before you can progress. So that's a pretty cool idea. These flame, <laughs> flame wheel is gonna fucking beast over here. Go for an ember in case Roselia has poison point. Oh, I'm really scared of getting poisoned. I should have probably stocked up on antidotes. If you guys are watching this and want to play along, you should definitely, definitely, um, thingy. What's it called? Buy antidotes. Oh, that's that's kind of cool, but kind of weird as well. It's a fucking waste of my time and your guys' it's time. That is really over. I think I think there's a bit overdone, but it's still pretty cool. So let's do this. Wow, 
Wow, lagginess. Okay, so now we have to talk to this woman over here. My grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. Yeah, not against George. George is gonna own your ass, bitch. Oh, Bud you, you're so cute. And by the way, I think Bud you won't evolve for some time, my Bud you. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna focus on my other Pokemon until we get to a better training ground for Bud you. Because right now, but you is too over leveled and barely gains any experience, so grinding right now is really not worth it. Even though I know you guys want to see him evolve. Every time you beat a trainer, the floral clock moves. The fountain also stops if I lose. And so you can go to the Pokemon Center during your challenge. Yeah, but we can't, bitch, because there's a Nuzlocke run. No one understands it, man. This is supposed to be scary. Nuzlocke time. Alright, so now these waterfalls will apparently stop as well. Cool. The fountain's water level dropped. Yes, thank you for the information. And as you can see, we can't go anywhere. So now this will be our final trainer. So let's do this. Let's talk to her from behind. I'm just that kind of guy. <laughs> you can't win when you're distracted by the lovely aromas of Pokemon. Aromas? I thought aroma was plural. Anyway. This episode will be fun because we will get a lot done and I'm always happy when that happens. So let's go for a Ember here. Awesome. Why you do this to me? So mean. At least I can't get poisoned now. Maybe I should stay paralyzed. No. Not really worth it. Yup. You're right about that. Whoa. Sorry about that. So let's um quickly heal up with the Cherry Berry if we have one or... I'm paralyzed here. Why do you always keep going back here? Oh, the fountain stops. Okay, th this is way, way overdone. I think their uh, Nintendo was really showing off about the 3D graphics at this point. Anyway, let's quickly do that. And all my Pokemon are like bouncing around in the uh, friendship checker. That's so funny. Okay, so let's check out the berries. Cherry berry. Awesome. And we have. We don't have any antidotes. Um, so we may be in danger. I think we'll be fine even if we get poisoned We can run back to the Pokemon Center or the Pokemart. So let's do this now Let's talk to her from the side on view so you guys get a nice angle and let's do it. You kept me waiting I'm sorry, but your bitches wouldn't let me come to you Yes, you're the grass type master when I first saw you I was convinced you'd find your way to me Yeah, it wasn't really that difficult. They told me where to go. They're pretty nice actually. I like them so let's do this in normal speed. And she looks kind of like a guy. Um, I don't mean to be rude, but yeah. And wow, she is like wearing a really short shirt. I think Nintendo are some horny bastards. Anyway, let's do this now. And no poison point on the straight rig, so we can safely go for a flame wheel. I think I'm going to spam flame wheel this whole battle. No, actually, I think I should go for Ember on the Roserade. Anyway. I'm spoiling all of the Pokemon. So here we go. Turtwig. Yeah, you fainted. Suck on that. So here we go. Doing awesome. And Cherim. Cool. I think that's the evolution of Chitotem. Why can't I see your face, baby? I want to see your face. Your lovely face. Flame Wheel again. And you're going down. 60 base power. And it relies on my attack base stat. Wow. He survived it. She survived it. Yeah, Magical Leaf ain't got shit on me. Seriously. What are you thinking? Yeah, I'm gonna go for a Mac Punch here. Obviously. Let's just run, let's just waste all the Super Potions out now, that's my idea. Okay, one, uh, now I'm gonna do an Ember to get her down to red health, hopefully. Oh no, completely taken over. Over, okay. <laughs> I'm getting really muddled up. This is not cool. Okay, 3 HP, pretty good. Let's check out the stat gains. 3, 2, 2, 3, yeah, baby. We will check out those stats like George is a beast George is a beast baby and now comes number three the Pokemon we've been longing to get for a long time and soon we will get her so don't worry but we'll get a male version so let's go for an ember probably a two hit KO pretty safely so I think we're in good shape right now awesome oh and the burn baby but burn is really useful for those when you're um, against a physical type uh, sweeper. Oh, and he missed on stun spore. She missed on stun spore. So, like, burn basically reduces your base attack. Like, it cuts it in half. 
and it does damage per turn each turn so that's like a really awesome combination so now Roserade is completely fucked over like now we're paralyzed so we can't get poisoned and yeah I'm gonna go for a Mac Punch I think Mac Punch oh we don't even have to do that yeah suck on that that was really easy for us 961 that's a shitload of XP and three special attack EVs amazing you're very good aren't you well you tell me baby you tell me I might have said this before but you're really tough wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon in recognition of that I proudly grant you this Dejuice received the forest badge from Gardenia awesome why am I narrating <laughs> Okay, so what else are you going to give me, baby? They always give me a TM. Okay, now we can use Cut outside of battle. So, Bidoof will come back in the party. Trades up to level 30, but that doesn't apply to us. Okay, what's this going to be? Hopefully a really awesome Grass move. Grass Knot, so that does more damage on heavier Pokemon. So if you're up against a really heavy opponent, it could be really awesome. I'm not going to teach it to Buddy right now because... Like, heavy opponents, like, it's kind of limited. Like, I would rather prefer Giga Drain. And by the way, we missed Giga Drain because we didn't evolve in time for it. We had to evolve on level 24 for Giga Drain. Anyway. Oh, we can go here without cut. Awesome. Super Potion, yeah. We didn't really need it anyway, so we're safe. And this feels really awesome. Like, we completely dominated the gym. Oh, and we first get to pick up our bike now. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah. Let's pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, wait. No, the guy isn't here yet. Oh, I know what we have to do. And now it's time for evolution, baby. For Vespiquen. And I'm not going to use my heal now. I'm saving that for a bit later. So I'm going to quickly use a cherry berry on this dude who goes by George. Fuck, we don't have any. I'm going to quickly go run over to the Pokemon, sell some of our items, and then we'll take on... The Team Galactic Warehouse number one. Isn't that... Doesn't that sound fun? Okay, so let's do this. Oh, I really don't want Bronzer to have to go. But I think it's time. Yeah, it is time. No, but like... Yeah. Oh, I'm like really caught between things. But we need to teach uh, Bidoof Cut. I mean, Bidoof is like our best Pokemon. We have to teach it the best possible moves to make it the strongest Pokemon ever. So Bidoof. Bidoof is so lucky, man. Like, I teach it all of these HM moves. Like, all my other Pokemon must get really jealous. Anyway, HM01 cut. Awesome move. 50 base power. 95 accuracy. I'm joking. If you guys don't aren't aware of it, don't teach your Pokemon that. Unless you want them to be an HM slave. So, I'm going to be nice and take out Growl. Growl is like the worst move in the game, but yeah, Cut is pretty good. I wonder if we can learn Surf now. We'll probably have to level up to the barrel. Anyway, Waffles time. Two more levels. I'm really psyched up. Just like my psych out, I'm psyched up. So let's go and sell some of our shit to this Pokemon guy who will accept anything. That's just awesome. I could like bring whatever in here. That's awesome. Okay, so... Stardust, we can't do shit with that, so yes, we are gonna sell it. Green Shard, no, I don't want that. There are better items out there. Energy Powder, I'm not gonna be mean to my Pokemon by giving them drugs. Stay away, guys. Okay, next. Heal Ball, all of these Heal ba Balls, Net Balls, and... I only use one type of balls, I'm that kind of guy. I've said I'm that kind of guy so many times now. Anyway, this is wasting time. No, I need to save all my TMs. Save those, save those. Oh, yes, you're going back. And there we go. So let's buy some super potions, I guess. Super potions, let's buy. We can buy 22. I'm going to buy 5. And then potions, we should buy about, I think, my 39. I'm going to buy about 20. Because even though like they're not really that useful in battle, outside of battle, they're pretty useful in healing up your Pokemon. Antidotes, let's buy a couple of those. Maybe about 4. Paralyze heals. It's always good to have a lot of antidotes and definitely paralyze heals because they just piss the shit out of me. A couple awakenings. Burn heals. I don't think we really need. There we go. All safe. And all set to go. 
Let's do it now. Awesome. Okay, combi. It's your turn to evolve now, baby. I'm proud of you, and you can make it happen. So let's go. And he's still standing here. And let's go up here. Let's cut down this tree. Yep, there we go. And I want your guys' input. Like, I think you'll probably say yes to this, but I am really seriously considering doing a black 2 and white 2 walkthrough when it comes out in the ROM version, because yes, I am using an emulator. So whenever it comes out, even the Japanese version, I am willing to do it. It's going to be a lot of fun, like me reading Japanese. I think you guys will enjoy it too. So if you guys want it, just show me your support. Hit this video up with a like. Um, leave a comment, anything. Yeah, so there we go. Thief, TM46 Thief, 40 base power, dark type move. Um, my Pokemon don't really need it right now, so let's go inside the Team Galactic headquarters. Oh my god, I penetrated the headquarters. Hello, it is me, me. Ha 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 ha, have I startled you? No, you haven't. I am, after all, an officer of the international police. Yeah, bullshit. That's Looker. You're trying to fool me, and I'm not an idiot. Oh, wait. Oh my god. He's the best, man! Looker is really kick-ass, but then he just revealed his identity to everyone here. So, but the crooks of Team Galactic, they do not appear, how shall I say, smart. They should be in- oh, he's great, man. Okay, so when you spin around, can I turn into like a Galactic Man too? I'm gonna try it right after this. Okay, a word of advice. Two stairs. Okay, so this is a huge building, a lot of trainers, a lot of items, so... Let's change into Galactic Man! Galactic man. Oh fuck, I can't spin around <laughs> fast enough. Anyway, let's stop fucking around. Okay, hello dude. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? Yeah, I am. Wait, I wanted to do donate my Pokemon. Like my Bidoof. Let's talk to this dude over here. As a group, Team Galactic. Oh, this is pretty cool. Like, but why are they like, why, why did they block everyone off with those like shrubs? I don't get that. Oh god, here comes the storm. We are acquiring Pokemon for a most astonishing undertaking. Oh, I should have... Oh, it's a double battle. I hope we have a good Pokemon up second. I hope we do. I think we have Monferno, baby. I'm going to speed this up because this is not really that important. Awesome. And George, I'm going to use, first of all... I'm going to use a Paralyzed Heal with my little combi. Because George is the damage dealer, baby. Awesome. Good teamwork, guys. Okay, Flame Wheel on the first Zubat. Hopefully a one-hit KO. Yeah, baby. Both speed EVs. We need both of them. Super effective wing attack. You fuck off, bitch. I'm going to go for a Gust on the Glammeow and quickly take out the Zubat with another Flame Wheel just to be safe because that Gust did quite a bit of damage. Next turn, we'll Mac Punch these two fucking normal types. Oh, Gust on the Glammeow. Oh no no, I should do Bug Bite on the Glammeow. Why am I doing Gust? I got a bit thrown off by those Zubats over there. Mac Punch on the Stunky. Awesome, baby. I thought Stunky was a dark type. I apparently know, don't know any types at all. Okay, Bug Bite on the Glammeow and Flame Wheel on the Stunky. There we go. Awesome, almost over. Fuck. This is scary, man. Alright, I'm gonna heal up just to be safe on my combi. And I'm going to use Mac Punch on the other one. Super Potion. See, these are the times where you need Super Potion. So I'm glad I picked those up. And Mac Punch on the Glammeow. Glammeow can do a shit ton of ja damage, man. Oh, George levels up. Great. Great, great, great. Faint. Okay. It's not spelt the proper way. So I'm guessing, like, 50 base power, normal type move. An attack that hits a foe using Protect or Detect. Oh, so like it can bypass Protect or Detect, but it's only 50 base power. I will delete Scratch for it. It only has 10 PP, but it's better than Scratch. Scratch is 40 base power, normal type, and doesn't bypass Detect and shit. Okay, so here we go. And we're done. Yes, Waffles, you're a good girl. We're almost... Okay, I might not complete this whole thing in this episode, but I will definitely obtain a Vespiquen, baby. So let's talk to this dude over here, Root. Really, really quickly. Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources. You guys sound really awesome. I might, like, invest some money in you guys. Let's see how good this Pokemon is. Okay. You stole it. If, if you stole it from a weak trainer, 
I'm guessing it's not that great yet. Just like I thought. Bug bite, baby. Awesome shit. Even a critical scratch can't take us down. I'm going to quickly heal up with a potion just in case they do get a critical. Wow. Fucking hell. That, this is not really that great, but I need to persevere. Waffles, we need to make it. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. You just wait for your opportunities and then you take them. One more bug bite should be sufficient. There we go, combi. Level 20, one more. Big number 21 is coming up next. Great, great stuff. Okay, let's talk to this dude over here. I, or should I say dudette? Light my gear, dude. We want to harness the mysterious power of Pokemon and use it as energy. You guys sound like really awesome people, you know? Oh no! I did not think you would be a trainer. We love- Oh, I see a Pokeball in the corner there! They're really sneaky, like, that's not really that obvious, but if you guys have eyes like mine, then you can- Why do I do this? Oh, fuck! I hate moves like that, they piss the living shit out of me. Poison, gas, or whatever the fuck it's called. And this is becoming a long episode, I just really need to evolve waffles. Fuck, this is scary. I'm gonna heal up. Why am I taking so long? We need to completely dominate here, but once Waffles evolves, there is no messing with her. Okay, bug bite, baby. Awesome. Why the fuck? Shit. Alright, I'm gonna go for a uh, potion. And then I'm gonna go for the antidote, because these fury swipes, they're really <sighs> scaring me. Like, if he gets lucky and gets a critical on some of them, I could be really fucked over. There we go, antidote. Screech, awesome, he missed. Bug bite. One more after this. Right, I'm gonna go straight for the gust now. Yeah, baby. 270, that is quite good. Okay, this crow gunk is gonna fucking poison me. I, I know it right now. I'm gonna heal up. I don't know why I'm trying to be such a hero here. I should probably switch out. Let's see what crow gunk can do, and then we'll switch out. Pursuit. Okay, he's a flying type. I'm gonna go for a gust. Yeah, 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 I'll, I'm happy to use physical moves, man. I only have sweet scent. Okay, one, I think this will be the time we're gonna evolve. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm glad I picked up those awakenings, man. Those, those are a real lifesaver, man. Like, just pick up whatever you can and just prepare for the worst. Okay, I'm gonna go for a uh, bug bite. It won't kill because of the growl. And one last bug bite. And I think it's evolution time, guys. Oh, so close, so close, but yet so far, we have to take on one more person, but once we evolve into Vespiquen, shit will not be this difficult anymore, so I'm really psyched up about it, and yeah, this is really awesome, so, oh wait, I forgot the Pokeball, see, they try to make you forget it, I bet it's a really kick-ass item, right here, like, X special, not that great, but good for selling. So, there are a lot of stairs in here, and we'll probably end the episode pretty soon, but as I said, n we're not leaving until we get Vespiquen. So, any more trainers here? Or will there be an item? I'm just gonna talk to this trainer, I don't... Wait, battle me, bitch. Okay, he won't battle me. Well, I think the boss is up there. I'm... I know I'm wasting time, but I just don't want to battle that scientist because he has a Kadabra, and I know it, and I don't want that special attack Eevee on my combi. So I want to go into that left room right now, and then we can end the episode. So let's do it, baby. I hope he's a, I hope he's a trainer. No, battle me, baby. Okay. Oh yes, he does! So you can talk to them if they don't battle you, like immediately just talk to them. There we go, super effective fly. Okay, this will be le the last battle as a combi. Okay, and this is kind of scary because... Fuck yes! We are in the clear! It's time to evolve! Fucking... It's been a hell of a journey, but we finally made it. Yes, yeah, so let's go into normal speed now. And there we go! Waffles is evolving. Yes, I'm so happy. I hope you guys are happy. Hit that like button right now. Subscribe, add to favorites, share it with all your friends. And yes, we're finally beautiful Vespiquen. Not really that beautiful, but like, wow, kind of creepy actually, but oh, so cool. 
You're so cool, baby. I love you. Power jam. It's a special type. It's it's reliant on your special attack. Oh my god, he's really huge. Let's check out his stats right now. They're gonna be fucking kick ass. Oh my god, he's huge. What a good baby. Jolly nature, baby. Pressure, the Pokemon raises the foe's PP usage. Check out those stats, baby. 45 attack, 48 defense, 36 attack, 48 special defense, 29 speed. Pretty fucking kick ass. Power Gem is a special, as you can see by that swirly thing. But our special isn't too much lower. So we're better than. Oh no, not better than him. But I want to test him out in a quick battle. I'm sure you guys also want me to, to see me test him out. So I will finish the warehouse in this episode because I think you guys deserve it, especially that we got, since we got Vespiquen up. So I'm gonna put Cockadoo up because he will take on the level 20 Kadabra. And I know I'm such an idiot for like looking into these things, but let's check out Bidoof's item. Why does he have an item? Item take. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. Item take. Yeah, now she, now she won't collect honey anymore. It must have been from the previous one. I'm gonna give the Quick Claw to uh, Waffles because we are training at speed and its speed isn't too high yet. So, no, actually I'm not. I'm gonna give the Quick Claw to Cockadoo because Cockadoo's speed really needs some work. So let's do that quickly. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And there we go. Perfect. And now we're all set to take on that Kadabra. And you guys have gotten an awesome episode today. So remember to show me some support. And if you're just watching this episode, please like that previous episode because, yeah, it means a lot to me. So I think we are almost done. Wait, in the wrong room. Okay, so now we have to go into this stair. And then we take on the scientist. And then Vespa Queen will show her true colors against the boss of this building. And we are the boss. Yeah. Our mission is to implement our operations without question. Okay, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Wow, what a nerd, man. Okay, Cockadoo, you got this, baby. I know that Kadabra has really low physical attack, so I'm going to go for a Mud Bomb. Even though I don't think that's a uh, special a physical move. Anyway, Water Pulse, let's do it. X Speed? Why, why, why the fuck are you using... Why the fuck are you using X items? That's really sad. Water Pulse, baby. Fuck! Okay, so... This is shit. This is really shit. Fucking hell. Okay, so as you guys saw, that was our first death of a Nuzlocke Pokemon. He used a fucking... What? X Speed? And X... No, he used an X Special Attack. So no shit he's gonna kill the shit out of me. Fuck, I hope he doesn't kill me too. Oh fuck, I need to keep him like this. Um... What the fuck should I do? His confusion is super effective on me. I need to go out into Waffles, but can Waffles handle it? Fuck! This is fucking dangerous, guys. Yes, yes, Waffles can handle it. Oh my god, we lost Cockadoo, though. Shit. Anyway, we have to move on. There's a Nuzlocke run. I'm gonna go. I don't want these special attack EVs, but I can't really choose anything now. Bug Bite should be a kill. There we go, super effective kill. Shit! Fucking, you dick face scientist. You go masturbate at home or something. What the fuck? Okay. So I'm gonna go and have to release him now. Fuck, you poor cockadoo. Um, but that's actually maybe a blessing in disguise because we can go and um, get Bronzor on our team. I mean, cockadoo was really awesome and I had some awesome plans for him in the team, but we can't do anything about it now, so there's no point in crying about it so yeah every every Nuzlocke run has a loss and we have to just get over it and put it behind us thank god thank god chlorophyll didn't die I went for the stun spore I was stupid he could have used a super effective confusion and fucking like uh, blew, blown me to pieces but thankfully we lived so and yeah that's all I wanted um, we went down to Vespiquen Vespiquen finally is was able to handle her own and yeah i think it could have gone a lot worse we did get two special attack evs but who gives a fuck about ev training right now there's a nuzlocke run so let's do this now 
Alright, so let's quickly get that Pokeball. <laughs> Apparently we can just walk around and no one will notice us. Upgrade. This is for trading. If you trade a Porygon holding upgrade, it will evolve into Porygon 2 or Porygon Z. I have no idea. Something like that. Hey! Are you Canadian, bitch? Did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon. Fine, I Jupiter. Alright, so she's the other Team Galactic head. Like, we met Mars a couple episodes ago. Oh, I shouldn't put it in super speed. There we go. Yeah, Zubat won't be shit to me because oh check out that beast i think waffles is my new favorite pokemon power gem is a special move but it's super effective 100 accuracy it's a rock type move we can completely dominate the zubat here oh he lived yeah but you ain't got shit on us oh wow that was actually quite a lot of damage how insolent take a bite take a bite of this and why are you calling me a child like i'm probably 10 times older than you. Anyway, Waffle's speed is thankfully higher than Zubat's, and as you can see, the Zubat could be a pain in the ass. That wing attack, it was super effective, but still it did quite a bit of damage. Here we go. Skunk Tank, okay. Actually, Skun Tank, but I have a feeling he's gonna go straight for the Poison Sting. Um, and he's a Poison type, so our bug moves won't be great on him, but I'm gonna use a Super Potion. Even if he uses poison, it can't do much to me, so let's do this now. Why the fuck are you pointing your asshole at my face? How rude! Night Slash, okay, I have a feeling this is gonna do a lot of damage. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. And oh, the confusion from the cadaver was a critical hit, that's probably why it killed. Anyway, I need to stop making excuses, let's go for the bug bite. Even though it's probably not very effective, I have no idea until I try. And why would the poison gas comes out of your fucking ass? That's really sick, bro. Okay. Oh, I, I stole a citrus berry. Oh, yeah, someone told me in the comment section that if you use bug bite, you can steal an opponent's berry. So that's pretty kick-ass. That's definitely awesome. I just stole your citrus berry, bro. Citrus berry, bro. And this episode is so long. You guys are blessed with an awesome episode because we had to lose a fucking teammate today and that really pissed the shit out of me. Made me really upset. So here we go. Hopefully we won't lose waffles now. This skunk tank is truly a tank. Like, he can pretty much take anything. Our bug bite is like, doesn't really have shit on him. And smoke screen is gonna make me miss so fucking much. So I'm probably gonna switch out here. Oh no, let's just keep going for the bug bite. And apparently it's not uh, not very effective. I'm gonna go for two more. If he continues to use that fucking whatever it's called, then I will switch out. Okay, so one more bug bite will take her down after this. I'm gonna go straight for the bug bite now. Okay, hopefully it's not a critical. If it's a critical, our luck would be like shit. Okay, good. Yes, we hit. We land the bug bite and you fucking skunk ass nigger goes down. So here we go. 1029 experience. Waffles deserve every bit of that. Let's check out the stack games now. Pretty damn good. This is what I was waiting for. Now we have two pretty good team members on our team. We have Waffles and George. And soon we'll have a Roserade. So things are looking up despite the loss today. And I'm really sad about it. But anyway, well, aren't you tough? It's okay though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on, on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. Okay, thank you for my warning. I got my Clefairy back and it's all thanks to you. But that Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space. Hand it over. Their logic baffles me still. It's like, yeah, they are from space, bro. I love you. I... Oh, and he's a cycle man. How awesome. We just saved the cycle man. So I think we deserve a cycle now. So I will no I will first have to release our Shellos before ending the episode because I just think, yeah, it should be like a funeral or something. Like, we need to commemorate it in some way. I'm not going to just put him in a box because that's what some people do. But I think... It is a Nuzlocke run, and a true Nuzlocke run means I release him, so we're gonna have to go and do that now. Hopefully no one will come in our way, because this is an, emo an emotional time. We have done well today, but we did lose a team member, so let's have a moment of silence now. And, yeah. 
Shellos was recorder at level 9, I believe, and she was great. She was like an awesome water Pokemon in our team. She did evolve really late, but I knew that she, we would be able to um, handle it. We would be able to take... We would be able to do whatever we had to do to make her him evolve, but sadly we have to release him now, so yeah. Bye bye, Cockadoo. And there we go. Okay, so. But the game goes on! It's not over. Look at the amount of Pokemon we have waiting to join the team. We have an awesome bronze right now. Our, we have t a really kick ass team right now. We have. Let's check it out right now just to make you guys feel better better and make me feel better. Waffles level 22 baby. That's fucking high. 26 George, 13 Psych out, not bad. Chlorophyll 27, 14 hard ass and 9 bubbles. So we're doing really awesome right now. I'm going to quickly use a super potion on Vespiquen and we'll use a Pokemon Center later on in this episode. So guys, until next episode, this was Dragon Juice 27. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <clears throat> you guys definitely deserve this episode because of all of your support. Please help me get like 30 likes on this pitch. Maybe more. I think you guys can handle it because yeah. Okay, whatever. Peace out, guys.